Good morning. It is uh, 4:21 a.m. at well, at at February 13, 2016. Actually, it's 4:40 right now. But a few minutes ago, I was laying in bed. Uh, I had I had just woken up. All the lights were out. It's early in the morning, and I hear an 18 wheeler behind my home. And and you can you can see here how close it is. This is my backyard fence. Here's my bedroom right here. Here's the backyard fence, here's a dividing wall, and here's the back of a, of a Home Depot store. It's a secluded truck unloading lane right here in this area right there. And, and it's been the area I've seen a lot of suspicious traffic. I've had two of their store employees tell me about prostitution going on behind their store. I've seen a little girl at the sleeper cab of 18 wheeler one day. Uh, the previous homeowner of this house dies two weeks before I, before I bought it, and I believe under suspicious circumstances, I, I, I really suspect he was murdered. I was shot uh, a few weeks after notifying the El Paso DEA and then the Midland DEA of a suspected tunnel going from my house over here to this truck unloading lane, secluded truck unloading lane, where I've seen all this suspicious traffic. And that's what I want to show you this morning is this... Uh, uh, suspicious traffic kind of strange that it's at 420 it's really about 421 and, and I'm gonna show you here I'm gonna fast forward uh, and and go through this for you I'm gonna hit play what I want you to do is watch up here at the top and I want you to, there it is you see it see it moving there's the 18 wheeler 421 27 okay there it is and I'm laying in bed you know about just woke up all the lights out and I think oh there's a there's a truck just pulled up in the middle of the night out there so I get up and I look out my bedroom window here and I look over there and I can see the back the the trailer door on the back back side of this truck is coming open it's like a roll top garage type door it's rolling I can see it so they're so they're opening that door there there's no uh, forklifts I, I don't hear no people it doesn't look like the Home Depot doors open very early in the morning but they opened that door so they let somebody out or took something out of the back of that trailer and and, and now I'm gonna fast forward this and uh, because I want to let I want I want you to know how quick that they were here I mean they I mean, they arrived at 421 20 something like that and what we're gonna do is is we're gonna watch for these lights right here in this area there it is see it's moving okay there it is I'm gonna go slow there it is, a turn in the corner, and the 18 wheeler's gone at 423.30. So it was here just two minutes, long enough to open the back door, let somebody or unload something, whether it was uh, you know, human trafficking victims, maybe a, midnight, uh, a missing or kidnapped children, maybe it was a, uh, you know, a load of meth. I, have, I, I believe it has something to do with the murder attempt on my life from January 2012. Uh, where where a group of still uh, unidentified people dressed like police were caught in my house. We believe they are police. They were caught sneaking in and stealing evidence and staging the crime scene at my house. And this was a few weeks after I called the DEA and reported a suspected tunnel. I'm going to post this up on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And I want everybody to share this and see what's going on here in Midland, Texas, folks. It is February 13th, 420, and the crimes haven't stopped.